six years ago, we had a, 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 a little hole opened up right over a couple of feet away. And what that little hole began was a, 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 a roller coaster of emotions, uncertainties uh, as to what the future may behold of, of this community landmark that we all cherish so much, Children's Lake. Fast forward to today, we're all here to recognize the fabulous work that so many people put into getting us to where we are today. I want to take a moment to thank Tim and BJ for, uh, and everybody else at the Fish and Boat Commission. Fabulous, fabulous, fabulous people to work with. Tremendous. Obviously, we couldn't do what we're doing here today without the tremendous work that, that we were able to do with them. Representative Ecker, Senator Regan, uh, Bruce McClanahan from Senator Regan's office helped us every step of the way to get us to where we needed to be. Governor Wolf, we, we appreciate uh, the work from the, gov uh, the, the, the partnership and, and the support from the governor's office. So, so important. Uh, here at the community level, uh, we mentioned uh, uh, Jory, if Jory's out there anywhere, Jory Hans, hey Jory, Jory Hansen and Liz Nows, I don't know if Liz is with us from Save the Lake folks. Yes, absolutely. Now, Boiling Springs is a village, and you've heard the, the, the phrase, it takes a village. Well, absolutely, in the first couple of days and, and throughout the, the years of this process, it took a village to get us to where we are and here thank today. thank you all so much. This is just the, the initial step. We're going to be digging here soon, but come back a year from now. Right a year, guys. Right. Yeah. Come back a year from now for the grand opening. Thank you all so much. thinking well a year from now what's going to happen to fishing season you know ideally would have would loved it if we could have timed it so we didn't have to interrupt the trout season it looks like we might have to but um, that's going to give you many more trout seasons to come we have been coordinating with our friends over uh, Yellow Breaches Anglers you know they stock the lake we stock the lake uh, we're going to get things timed up so we can you know, once we do have the lake refilled um, we can get it in really great fishable condition for folks as soon as possible. Uh, like Tim said, my name is Paul Urbanek, Director of Engineering for the Fish and Boat Commission. Again, uh, shout out to Jerry Woomer, who's our uh, resident dam expert. Um, so I'll just uh, back clean up here and drive this thing home. Um, just give everyone a little bit of lay of the land on what to expect um, coming here. Um, we think in the next, you know, we know in the next two weeks, the contractor, Charles Merlot of Mineral Points, is going to be moving into the site. Um, the site, the property will actually be closed down to the public for public safety reasons. There's going to be some materials moved in, some equipment moved in. Um, starting this fall here, they're going to start rebuilding the, the, the dam and the walls. Um, we haven't actually received the official schedule yet, but we do anticipate the next year the project will be complete. Um, the project's going to include, obviously, the dam, as you can see down there to the left, um, along Griffey Hill Road, a new spillway, um, some new retaining walls, a new uh, ADA accessible fishing pier over um, near, the, near the, I guess it would be the powerhouse outlet we call it. I'm still getting used to the uh, the terminology on this dam. We have a powerhouse outlet, a run, a race, uh, and, a, and a mill race. But it'd be over there on that side of the dam. Um, yeah, I guess I guess uh, just to give everyone the caution that it will take about a year. We think the project will wrap up this time next year. Um, then we'll proceed with uh, the ribbon cutting and refilling process. Um, any questions on the project itself? The trail will remain open. Yeah. It'll just be this this parking lot and right around the dam here where the projects, where the, the mass of the work is going on. 